Sawadika, welcome to PGTV News. My name is Abel Wanamagog. Thank you for joining me today. Once in a while you hear some bizarre stories, and this is definitely one of them regarding stolen coffins. Grave robbery has taken on a disturbing new form in Takwa District in Panga, where 11 aluminum coffins intended for tsunami victims were recently reported missing from a storage facility at Bang Maruan Cemetery. In mid-April, cemetery manager Nitinai Song Song Gram, responsible for inventory of tsunami victims' remains and government property at the cemetery, noticed that 11 of 40 coffins in the storage area had gone missing. Saying that both he and Takwa District Police made frequent checks of the site, Kun Nitinai noted that the last officially recorded removal of a coffin from storage was on March 27. Kun Nitinai reported the apparent theft to the Takwa Police, who have yet to update him on the progress of the investigation, he said. Estimating the value of the 11 missing caskets at about 400,000 baht, he speculated that whoever removed the 70-kilogram coffins might have sold them off to a local scrap dealer. Takwa District Police Inspector, Police Major Anant Kwapun Keo, said officers had checked every local scrap buying shop without success. However, another source in the Takwapa police investigation team said they had detected evidence that one shop had recently purchased a large amount of scrap aluminum, which had already been melted down. A local scrap dealer identified only as Montri said that scrap aluminum currently fetches about 70 baht per kilogram, but that no shop would be likely to accept a new, complete coffin as scrap but might if already cut into pieces. He said sold as scrap at local rates, the 11 coffins would fetch at around 50,000 baht. The missing coffins were purchased by Thailand Tsunami Victim Identification Center with funds provided under an 88 million baht joint donation by countries whose nationals perished in the disaster. Firefighters took more than an hour to extinguish a fire that broke out in Jintana Plaza, opposite the immigration office on the Patong Beach Road, early Wednesday morning. Lieutenant Naruwat Putawirod of Katu Police Station told the Gazette that the fire, which started before 4 a.m., needed four fire engines and more than an hour to bring under control. He added that no people were injured in the fire as the buildings were empty at the time. However, it destroyed many of the goods stored in the shops, such as clothes, bags, watches, sunglasses and shoes. Police have yet to determine the cause of the fire, and as only a few shop owners have come forward to report the estimated cause of the stock loss in the fire, it is still too early to give an estimated of the total damage caused, he said. One report in the Thai press estimated the damage at 10 million baht. Now on to some business news. Thailand is looking fearfully at the likely prospect of crude oil prices hitting 200 US dollars a barrel, which could result in motorists paying 56 baht a liter for premium petrol. Speaking at the Thailand Energy Showcase 2008 seminar, Energy Minister Pun Pairom Litapanlop said the 200 US dollar mark was possible based on statements by the president of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries or OPEC who attributed the weak dollar to the US recession. According to OPEC, every 1% drop in the dollar's value will result in the price of crude oil rising by 4 US dollars a barrel. Lieutenant General Pun Parom advised the industrial sector to prepare for the possibility by adopting energy saving measures and switching to renewable energy. Premium petrol would reach 56.5 baht a liter at the pump if the crude oil price trading in New York hits 200 US dollars, based on an exchange rate of 32 baht to the dollar. Diesel prices could reach 53 baht per liter. Premium petrol currently sells for 37.09 baht and diesel at 33.94 baht per liter.
And now let's take a look how the weather is like in Phuket today. Today we can expect some cloudy weather with some scattered thunderstorms, so when you go outside you should take an umbrella with you. With a high temperature of 32 and a low of 26 degrees Celsius. Winds are coming from west-southwest at 14 kilometers per hour. Sunrise was at 6.11 a.m. and sunset will be at approximately 6.36 p.m. And now let's see how the currency exchange is doing today. So, how do you know we're looking for a manager? Saw your ad in the Phuket Gazette. Gazette. Yeah, here. Classified ads. Sure, that's the Phuket Gazette. Hmm. Your resume says you're perfect in English. So why do you say Gazette? It's Gazette. Okay, okay, Gazette. Perfect. You've got the job. Kopenka. <laughs> If you want to know what's going on in Phuket, stay tuned for our current events. The Punchline Comedy Club, in association with the London Comedy Store, presents a night of live, international, stand-up comedy. There are three top comedians from Britain, two glass-filling intervals and a joke competition. And together they will fill a night of fun and laughter. The comedians performing are Paul Thorne, Tom Rigglesworth and Ian Moore. Tickets are available at Woody's Sandwich Shops and you can get more information on their website at www.phuketcomedy.com And just a reminder that today is a public holiday so enjoy yourself and relax at home. Thank you for watching PGTV News. My name is Abel Wanamakog. If you want to know what's going on on our news daily, you can watch us at www.phuketgazette.net slash TV. Sawadee